Uh, so for number 48, we're given the graphs of r prime of x and c prime of x. Now remember from the fundamental theorem of calculus that if I integrate um, r prime of x dx, I'm just going to get r x and the same thing goes for uh, c prime x dx, I would just get cx. And remember that rx is the revenue and cx is the cost. So because we're given the graphs of the derivative, uh, when we integrate it, we can think of it as the area beneath the curve, right? So the area beneath the curve um, represents the cost and the revenue. Now we can see that this, um, this shaded area over here, the one in blue, is actually uh, from 50 to 100. Um, it is the the area beneath the pink curve, right? Actually, maybe I'll I'll draw that in pink. Um, so for this one, it is the area beneath the pink curve. And remember that the area beneath the pink curve is just the revenue because the pink curve is the derivative. Um, and then we are going to subtract the area beneath the blue curve. So we are going to subtract, let's see, that is not what I meant to do. We are going to subtract the area beneath the blue curve um, over here. So we're going to subtract all of this area. And we can see that this shaded region right here, uh, maybe I'll put that in yellow, that this shaded region, it is the area, the integral of Rx minus the integral of Cx, because the integral is the area beneath the curve. So we're going to write here that shaded region is um, Rx minus C. X. So when we have the revenue um, minus the cost, this is the definition of profit, right? It's whatever you um, you get in your money minus whatever you spend. So this is the profit. Um, so now all we want to do is kind of calculate this this profit using the midpoint rule. So for the midpoint rule, remember that we are constructing a rectangle. So we're going to evaluate it. Um, we're going to evaluate it at the midpoint. So the midpoint between 50 to 100 is 75. That's right here. And we're going to evaluate the height at 75. So what we're going to do is we're going to, to create a rectangle here that goes um, wherever it touches this curve, right? We're going to create a rectangle. And then where, wherever it touches the curve at the lower point, we are also going to create this rectangle. So we are um, estimating the, the profit based on the dimensions of this rectangle. Um, now the dimensions of this rectangle, it does appear that the, um, that the height goes from two to one. So here the height is two minus one. And what about the width? Well, the width, we did take the midpoint at 75, so the width is this whole part. So the width is 100 um, minus 50. So all we have to do now is just calculate the, uh, the area of this rectangle that we created. So the area is equal to 2 minus 1, so 1 times uh, 100 minus 50 times 50, right? And I should maybe have said this. And so it is, it is 50, right? Um, and 50 is because R and C are measured um, in thousands of dollars. So we can say that the area is $50,000, um, which is the difference between the revenue and the, the cost. So we can say that the profit is equal to 50K.